Welcome back to SnowRunner, Season 11, Lights and Cameras. I know, with me, Mr Sealy P. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been some time. It must be time for my annual SnowRunner fix. <laughs> Giants are out of office, no mods, no maps to do reviews on. So my Let's Play's up. I've played a little bit of SnowRunner off camera over the year. But I haven't recorded any. Um, and with the, I say the new, it was October, wasn't it? It came out. The Lights and Cameras Season 11 uh, DLC. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to come on and play. This is not a tutorial. This is not a how-to. It's not a guide. This is just me playing. And like I said, I'm rusty. Now, I have got the Jack of All Treads DLC. I have got the... Um, what are these ms2s the jat ms2s on this if we go to customize you'll see what i've got on there for the vehicle itself this is um, a dlc land rover but it's not modded um i've done a lot of when i open up maps normally what i have done a lot recently is i've gone for um various different modded vehicles which get around the map no problem at all you can bang around the map unlock it all and then crack on with whatever you want to do but in all honesty much as that is fun and it's quicker you lose that element of it's not a struggle it's not difficult the terrain doesn't isn't an obstacle anymore when you've got vehicles that can pretty much go anywhere so i thought you know what i'll come back i'll have a fiddle around i've got some different options on let's say um but we've got this land rover defender 90. um i'm pretty sure this is a dlc yeah so what we're going to do, we're going to leave the garage. Let's start it up. Handbrake off. All will drive on. Uh, do I want to do lights? We'll put the lights. Oh, we don't need them actually on to be, start, to, to be starting with the map. There we are. I haven't unlocked anything. So we'll see how we get on. And then we'll, there's going to be, obviously, I don't know how many videos. It's the same as I do every year. I don't know how many videos I'll do. I might do one every day for the next four or five days. Um, but this is just a bit of gameplay. We'll bang around and we'll see how we get on. I'll see how these tyres perform. I haven't used anything from the uh, Jack of All Treads pack yet. We'll see what sort of trouble we can get ourselves in. For all of the, you that have been out there that have been playing this continually, like I say, I, most of the controls, I'm trying to remember what they all are now. Do I want to go straight off-road and just give it a go? Oh, you know what? It doesn't matter. Let's just go. I don't know how we're going to get on. I haven't got chains on these. It's not going to be as straightforward as I think. Because, as I say, every time I've played, I've been using all sorts of Land Rover esque type vehicles, but that don't seem to have much of a problem. This is a little bit top heavy with the stuff I've got on the roof, but we are sliding a little bit, but not too bad. There may be sections on here I'm going to require chains, which I, let's say, haven't got on. But we're managing alright so far. Okay, let's handbrake it. Launch observation. Well, since it's Christmas time as well, doing it in Scandinavia, a bit of snow. So we're on, um, which one's this mountain, I can't remember which one it is now. Mountain Ridge, that was it. Uh, 2.22 in the afternoon, so what have we unlocked? Bridges are going to be interesting, aren't they? Any obvious crossing points that we can see? Not really. That's going to be uh, it's going to be interesting, isn't it? Oh, that maybe across here potentially. We have got an upgrade for something. I think we've got some vehicles to unlock. I haven't, I haven't done a huge amount of research into it. I just thought, you know what? I'm just going to come on and we'll have a go. I'm just trying to think where else have we got another. So that's going to be our edge there. 
that's our edge there. Because we have got some mods, there are some... Um, come back to our edge there. Yeah, there are some modded options available that, and some mods which just give you the radar pack on any vehicle and you can just crack along and just do that whenever you feel like it. I think if I follow this road up here, we'll get to here and see about crossing, see about the upgrade. I don't know how we'll get on. Might do some other stuff along the way. Who knows? That's a lot of stuff that's opening up, isn't it? Once the map's unlocked, then I might switch over to some DLC stuff, and some DLC, some mod stuff. I was asked last time I played this why I don't do it more in cab because it's it's more it's difficult and it's harder and it adds more of a challenge. It's exactly the same as when when I play farm sim. Um, I love to see the vehicles. I like to look at the options and the things you've chosen. No point going to the bridge until we can unlock it. Say unlock it. Oh, okay, maybe not. straight through the barriers. <laughs> Let's go! It seems to go crabways a lot. I mean, so trouble with these tyres, it says they're excellent off-road, excellent mud, but poor on the road, so probably not the best. Is. See the watchtower right over there to the left. Whoa! <laughs> Is it here? Uh, yeah. Let's put the lights on actually. I will skip through the night. That's generally speaking what I do because it's, it's hard to see, not just for me, but if you're watching it's harder, isn't it? Let me say deep, how deep are we looking? Might be right. Not in need of a winch yet. We should have turned earlier to get that upgrade, whatever it may be. Can we go? 
up here, do you reckon? Can we give it a go? Come on. Come on. Just go with that lip. No! Come on! Nah, need a bit more power, I just can't quite... Let's go back that way. Got a bit of bounce going on. The Neo Falcon 2000. Am I sinking into the mud? Oh, I may have absolutely just nerfed it then. Get out of here. Yeah. We're all good. Right, where do I need to cross out of here? Okay, why are we being detoured? What's the problem here? That looks quite fast moving. Is it worth taking a chance? But where are we? Let's have a look at the map. So, we are here. Can I get round that? If we go to the road that way, I wonder where that's going to end up going. Oh, I said just join back up on here, isn't it? Swing around there. Probably do need to get past this, don't I? <laughs> this is where I make my first horrible mistake. It's fast moving, isn't it? Whoa. Okay, looks like there's a log in there. That's what we'll do. No, not that way. There we go. Whoa, that's deep. <laughs> Good shout, right. Is this whole road going to be like this? Oh no, it's just the other detour. Where does that take it then? Is it just down on the... Oh, I probably just could have skirted around down there. Oh, it does. It runs all the way around the front. Oh, that's alright. We'll remember that for next time. Right. 
Where are we heading? Off up there somewhere. And this is the thing, if I was using the, the Tatarin, Tatarin, I always say it wrong, but some people agree and some people don't, but um, I probably just would have just turned and just gone hooning across the countryside. Wouldn't have really cared too much, but did I put the lights on? Oh, I did. They are on. That's worrying. Um, shall we just go for it? Let's just go. Now we're looking for fuel right at the moment. Uh, let's go that way. I don't know why, but... Okay, that's not looking so healthy. But... Nope. Nope. Good shout. How do I get up there? Ooh. Ooh. Let's go. Check the map. Okay, we have got a track there. So we could have, rather than cutting across, could have just followed the road there and we probably would have had a little turning up here. Just looking to see. Looks like there's a track that runs up around the back of it. Oh, now that could be access from that side. Or do I carry on all there, which is probably going to take us back to there. Do I turn right and go around that way and see if we can come around the back? Or do I just keep going up the middle with smoke? Hmm. I'm going to go safety first. <laughs> snow hasn't changed, has it? From the, when we first got snow in game. You get into the powdery stuff, oh. I haven't gone on the path, have I, at all? Turned way too early. But, looks like we might get a route through there. I always say this, every time I play it, and every time I record, if I think back to when this first came out, and there weren't any mods, and you just had the base vehicles, and I think one of the videos I did, I spent 20 minutes in a river, in the mud, just gradually, I mean, creeping along, just trying to get out. Am I gonna get over that, though? That's the question. Let's go for that end. Potentially, there we go. So roll that back a little bit. Gently does it. There we go. B 
bit of bouldering, why not? We are losing the light though, aren't we? Yeah, on. There we go, now we join the track, right. Job done. Good stuff. Oh, it's a tent. Nice. Right, I have skipped ahead. It's six in the morning, so it should start getting lighter again. What I have done gone onto the map and from where we are directly across from here I was just having a look at what's popped up there appears to be a vehicle just there I'm pretty sure it's one of the new ones so if we can get to there so we'll go back out uh, follow the track that we were on I don't go straight down the hill maybe out to there follow that around See if we can get to that, maybe? So, handbrake off. Uh, let's go to that. And let's see what's there. Just follow this coming for a bit. Through the trees. <laughs> An A to B approach is what I'm taking. If we can get through the trees, of course, that is. They seem to be quite dense here. on here somewhere. Oh, is that there? Okay. This is where I'm regretting my decision not to go with the modded vehicle. <laughs> it's a good idea in theory. Oh, okay. Is there a barrier all the way along the side of the road? Come on, that's not on. That's just not cricket. Oh, we've got a gap. We've got a gap. And that is the thing as well, I suppose 
that initial thing of you know go back to using unmodded vehicles base game stuff but with you know some changes and configuration changes that kind of thing but as mods came out the maps as the maps came out on new dlcs the maps became much harder so the terrain isn't as easy and straightforward what have we got over there i don't know if it's um one you've got to do a job for to collect it i'm just trying to think if we can even get to it we may need to go for a, a more oh no it's going to be the oh no it's a task I thought it might just be a this vehicle's been unlocked. Yay! <laughs> no show task. If you pull my vehicle out the swamp, you can have it. Yes. Let's accept that, shall we? Now I don't think we're gonna be able to do it with this. I don't think our winch will reach that far and I think that's going to be quite deep but whether or not I can get around the side I could give it a go, couldn't I? Too far away, oh no, I've backwards disconnect that um, right. let's give it a go actually you know what we'll do while we're just sinking into the mud let's put the handbrake on uh, let's go into, no right there, go to there Do that. Do that, then go from there to refuel. Job, job, right. Can we get around there? Ooh, come on, come on, come on. Be nice to be able to at least finish with something cool. risky okay so I need really well so we can reverse <laughs> nope it's dragging me in that's terrifying okay let's see if we go backwards a little bit we need to be able to anchor ourselves backwards don't we if I do a little bit of time, if I can get, if I, if I can, if I can get it to move, right? Come on, turn on engine on winch truck. There we go. Come on, son. Come on. Get it to push me out at the same time. <laughs> Oh, look at it. Release the winch. Will it let me? It says I've got a winch out. I've got a winch it to somewhere. it to there.
Boom! All I need are the photos. Where have I got to take it to? Come out. Troll Tamer. Do I have a destination for this then? Oh, hang on. Oh, no, seriously? How am I going to get it there? Where are we? Oh, blimey, okay. We're in for a bit of a drive, I think. If that's right. Normally. Oh, there we go, yeah. <laughs> Deliver to the hunter's cabin. The burlack 6x6. Six six. Right, so we try and get out of here, shall we? Where did I come in? Beast of a bit of kit, isn't it? Come on. I got that thing wedged. not going so well. Oh my god. That's what I always do. Come on. There we go. stuck on anything. Come on. You can't see what it's stuck on, that's really weird. Come on, just need to give it a bit of a nudge. Right, disconnect. Try and put it for another angle. Let's go sideways just a little bit. Go right. 
I wonder why that was stuck. How weird. Probably shouldn't have just crashed through the barriers, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, this road is ridiculous. <gasps> what happened there? Have a word. That's just ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> Got a laugh on you. I've ju I just disconnected. I just disconnected myself um, and then used the winch on the side just to roll myself back over. So what I've got to do now... This is bonkers. What is... I've got smoke coming out of. What's damaged the engine? Let's just have a quick check on this. <laughs> Let's repair. Uh, what we got? That's all. Yeah, we're right. Right. Let's see if we get stuck down there. I, don't, I honestly don't know what happened there. It was some kind of weird glitch, wasn't it? There's no way that was normal. That to suddenly catapult itself over like that. That was absolutely bonkers. Right, let's handbrake it. Let's um, low range it like that. And diff lock it. No, we don't want to do that. Where's the winch coming from? What the... Winch point. Let's go to the rear. And let's go to there. That we're right by a ditch. It should go onto its wheels. There we go. Right. All we've got to do now is get it out of there. <laughs> Easier said than done, isn't it? Now we're around the wrong way as well. How fantabulous. How absolutely fantabulous. Okay, I'm on. Now she come. There we go. Turn on the engine. Don't roll over, silly Billy. Come on, really? There we go. No, don't. Don't do silly things. I'm going to turn this around. Oh, don't go backwards. I'm going to go backwards. Forwards. Forwards, forwards, forwards. Come on. There we go. Right. Oh, what a palaver. Now, how's this? Are we going to catapult again or do I have to keep... How many of these obstructions are there going to be? Avoid going over the barriers. I think that's probably the best bet. I just took an absolute burlack in, didn't I? <laughs> That's not good. All I want to do by the end is get it to where it's going, get given it, and then we've got an extra vehicle. It's a good start to what we're doing. Which direction are we heading? I suppose I should set that as a whoa. It says delivered to the hunter's cabin. Stop. Which is 
Ouais. Ouais, comme pas. Oh, so there. Oh, blimey. We've got miles to go. Uh, up to there. Take a left, then a right. Bish bash, bit of bosh, and then we should be. <laughs> we should be good to go. He says. Avoid those silly signs. Oh, crikey. Alright. Oh, Alright, my old China. Come on in. Come on, son. Right. So, barring any major issues, of which there are likely to be some, because it just happens that way, doesn't it? I also sailed to see you there, which kind of makes sense, but. impressed with Slam Rover so far. I may have mentioned that already, but I really am. Uh, we're going to go this way. Potentially. So what I might do, off camera, uh, I might go and fix some of the bridges and remove some of the obstacles, if there are any. But I think I might fix that bridge off camera. So at least we can get around the map um, and then we can get on to some of the other stuff, the, the lights and cameras stuff, you know? But I don't know how much we have to do to get to that. Come on, keep going. Come on, you beauty. burning fuel. I think we've got some spare. I'm surprised that hasn't run out. I thought that would at some point suddenly be out of fuel and I'll be in real trouble. Whoa. Lights on. I think that's the only two watchtowers as well, isn't it, on here? So I think what I might have to do off camera as well is maybe just go tonking around in the Land Rover and just expose as much of the map as I can as well so I can see what's what. We made it! That's not so bad! So now, can I? I can. Oh, all drive. Let's get that on. That off. Lights. Oh. -ho! Oh, fuel's a bit low. I guess what we need to do is get it back and see what we've got on it and see what we can change. I guess. What's up? How are we looking? No. 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 Slant back trunk kit. Boom, let's use that. 
Well, that's it. Okay, well, got a bit more fuel in it anyway. So I'm check on the old map. Where are we? So, shall we head out this way in the burlap and see what's out this way? If we can find a route, maybe that brings us back around to here. And then we can get back over towards the garage. Depends whether there's a crossing here or we've got another bridge out or anything like that. I, I don't know if we will have, but potentially we will. So, let's use this. We get the Land Rover back later on. Oh, it's a weapon. What's it like inside? It's a proper beast, isn't it? Don't let the road be out. Oh, there we go, we're all right. Crossing point, nice. It's nice and high, so we can ford. Fairly deep water without having to worry too much. Actually, where do I want to go? Do I want to go to the left? I oh, no. No, we'll carry on the way we're going. Oh, trailer. We'll have a bit of that, son. does not want to pull that out, does it? I thought that would be easy, come on. Come on. Blimey, what is that stuck on? It's gone low, low, low crawl. Well, rear, really, we might as well. We've lost some essential equipment during shipping. The trader is still by the river. Could you get it back for us? Let's accept that. Deliver to the ski lodge, the sideboard trailer and service parts. Where? Oh, where is the ski lodge? That is the question. All up there. Okay. How is the road looking? Oh, we've got a western blockage. There's nothing worse than a western blockage to mess up your day. How are we looking up over there? Okay, all right. We well, can get up over there. Well, what we'll do, we'll take this with us. Back to the garage. We're up in the moment. Uh, so, follow that up onto there, that up onto there, onto the main road. Oh, no, not the main road. Take that track through all that. Because there's an eastern blockage as well. Oh, God, they've got all the blockages going on, haven't they? It's the last thing you need. Unless, of course, I run out of fuel, which is also the other potential for this. Come on. Actually, where's the... I know I keep going back to the menus. I know people don't always like that. 
Um, actually, what I can do, I can leave this trailer here. I'm not there, no, because I need to go up that side. Oh no, ignore me. Ignore me. Still frustrating because I'm farming simulator, we've got cruise control, and I keep going to press the cruise control option, and there isn't one on here, obviously. I'll say, obviously. Unless there is, no, I don't think there is. Might just skip ahead time again because it's getting dark. Can I make it back with the fuel I've got? I think so. That is the next question. Le question. Moose. I was on the building in the background in case you didn't know, so it's not just me losing my mind and shouting moose that's up my voice. At anything that comes past. It's just some crazy bloke sitting on a park bench shouting moose at people. I mean, I'm not saying that's not in my future, but <laughs> that's not what I was doing. Whoa, so get a bit too much then. Oh, I really should be setting a route, shouldn't I? No, follow it around to the right. Right, should be a fairly straightforward run back from here. Don't see any reason why I wouldn't, so I'll see you back at the garage. I'll drop this off. And uh, I don't have to go over all of the options on it, but I'll do a bit of fiddling around with this and see how we're looking for um, the next episode. We'll use this to maybe take the stuff to the ski lodge. Like I said, we'll open up some more of the map. I might try and see if I can get some of the, uh, like I said, the bridge repaired and that kind of thing. I forgot about all the factories thing as well. But usually we can go and collect supplies and big bits up here and there. So we'll do that. I'll sit in the garage. And we'll see what we've got in the burlap, shall we? I was just looking at my time. I'm going to have to be quick on this. We'll just have a look at some of the options we have got. Uh, so that's it at the moment. There's probably going to be some more stuff to... Uh, gearbox. That's locked. I've got to unlock it. Stock. Oh, that's it. Okay. Although it is pretty good. Off-road excellent, mud excellent, ice excellent. Right, we'll leave those as they are. Winch, extended scout, advanced scout, autonomous scout, or high-powered scout. I think we want to go for high-powered. Yep. Yeah. Let's go with that. We can sell that. Excellent. Come out of there. Diff lock engageable. Snorkel, front facing. Tall front facing. We'll go tall front facing so we can go really deep. Why not? Frame add ons. This way things get interesting. So we've got flatbed. It's pretty cool. Uh, safety cage. Oh, I like that. Let's go with the safety cage. Light trailer hitch. Heavy trailer hitch. We'll leave that on. Trunk repair supplies, yes. Slant back, yes. I think we need a loading crane because if we drop any pallets and stuff on off here, that makes sense, doesn't it? But do I want to go with a flatbed on there rather than that covered? Let's go with that. Nice, okay. Uh, so next over, front side. Do I want the visor? No. Rooftop. Roof fog lights. Yes, please. Do I want a search light? No. Sell that. Bumper reinforced. Heavy duty stock. Don't want stock reinforced. Let's go heavy duty. Sell that. External horns. Quad horns. Not really. Repair kit pack. Yep. Stock seal covers. Yeah, I believe it's out. Exhaust. Stock or out rolled. Where is it? Can't see where it is. Uh, 
Tobias come out rolled. Why not? Let's go the whole thing. Fenders. Fender pack? Oh, yeah. Let's go fender pack. Why not? Rims. Just those. Right. Colour options. There's no special paint by the look of it on this one. That's what it came with. Let's go down to our multiple colour options. Oh, that's quite cool. Oh, I like that. Let's go with that. And then we can worry about bobbleheads and accessory stickers and exterior stickers and things like that at a later date. What have we got available on our crab? <laughs> oh, I like the wyvern. Yes, we'll have that. So, that's how we're looking. Let's leave the garage. Lights, and before we finish, let's skip head time so we can see what it looks like. Right. Oh, not very light, though, is it? So, like I say, some bridge stuff, some bits and bobs here and there. I mean, having those that cage and maybe this, those big chunky fenders might be difficult to get through narrower gaps, but I have to say, that's an impressive looking bit of kit. So, next episode, we'll deliver those pallets. Oh, like I said, I might do some bits off camera. I'm quite excited. I might do that first, then do some bits off camera. Um, but we got the burlap. We've done the two towers. I'm pretty sure that's just it's just the two towers on here, aren't there? There's some bit up here, bits up here, and then some bits out to here. There's not another tower, but we've got the cabin zone. We could probably head up to. We'll have a look out there. So I hope you enjoyed it again. It's like I say, it's it's. Uh, I don't. I didn't mean it to be my annual snow runner thing, but that's where we're at. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.